Edward, will you please use this in a sentence? I went on a vacation to New York City. Very good, Edward. You may sit down. Jane, will you please put down the book? And you will remain at your desk for 15 minutes after the bell. Yes, Miss Sibley. Robert, will you please use the word tomorrow in a sentence? I'm waiting. Tomorrow something bad will happen. Tomorrow. Robert? Yes, Miss Sibley? Um, nothing? school today. Okay, class. Dismissed. Miss Hidley? <laughs> Didn't mean to disturb you. Well, that's quite all right. Would you mind checking the uh, paper towel in the girls' washroom? Surely. And then he just looked at her. Do you think she knows we're in here? She probably... Probably knows, but I don't care. Mrs. Sibley is a spaz. She needs to get a life. <laughs> We can call for a doctor. No, that's okay. Hey, but I'll call for a taxi. You'll do no such thing. I always take the bus. Okay. Smiling, Robert? I don't know. Tell me, please. There's quite a few of us. Little boys who tell stories go to hell, Robert. I know many parents. 
no longer make their their spawn aware of this fact. But I assure you that this is a true fact. Little boys who tell stories go to hell. Little girls too, for that matter. Do you want to, do you want to see me change, Miss Sidley? Do you want a really good look? Go away and bring your mother and father to school with you tomorrow. We'll get this business straightened out. It will be just like show and tell, won't it, Miss Sidley? Robert, the other Robert, he liked show and tell. He's still hiding way, way back in my head. Everyone, Everyone leave, leave now! Paul! Sucks to be her, doesn't leave. it? Leave! Go home! Why? Be all right, Mr. Lee. take you one by one into the mimograph room. After that, you will get some candy and go home for the day. Doesn't that sound nice? Oh. Robert, will you come first with me? Yes, Miss Sidley. No one can hear you now. Not you or this. There's lots of us out there, lots more than here. Would you like to see me change again? I'll find out who the contemporary historian is. Fabian, perhaps? Or is he Henry V? Anyway, I'll find out. And meanwhile, uh, uh, I'm ready to go. Please. Please use this oh, in yeah. a sentence. Um, uh, I went on you a gotta stand up. Oh. I went on a vacation to New York City. Very good, Edward. You may sit down. When? <laughs> and then he just looked at her. Do you think she knows we're in here? 
She. I forgive you. Okay, <laughs> go, go, go. Did you push it yet? Yes, go. Oh, that's horrible. No, terrible. Are you? Did you did you fall? Are you? I forget my life. <laughs> Are you okay, Emily? Right. One action. By the fall of '74, I had gotten to know everybody in our anti-crime <laughs> unit. One. Once upon a time, there was three little bears. The big one, the middle-sized one, <laughs> and the little one. Three, uh. two, one. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was... <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> two, one.